A couple of weeks ago, Leonardo AI came onto the AI art market and surprised everybody because it created amazing images like this and this that are really on the level of Midjourney and it was completely free. Now Leonardo had a couple of updates and they have a new pricing plan, but they still have a free subscription, way better than the 25 images that Midjourney gives you for free. So here at leonardo.ai, you can press here on the top and get early access. You can count me in. Leonardo AI is all web-based, so you only need Discord to get access one time. And after that, the app is just online on the website. So that's nice for people that don't want to use Discord. So after you fill in your email with count me in, it says here, while you wait, come and join our Discord community and introduce yourselves. And you will arrive here in the Leonardo AI Discord. And what you need to do is go to the left under general, you see priority early access. We are now prioritizing whitelisting users who have made the effort of joining our Discord. So just click on this form and here you arrive on a form that you can fill in. And after you send it, you will be on the whitelist to soon be added to Leonardo AI. But here on the homepage from Leonardo AI, this is just app.leonardo.ai, you already see a lot of different models that they have and a lot of different art that they created. Here on the top left, you see how many tokens you have left for the day. So I can click on it and you see that they have the memberships here. So either $10 a month, $24 a month, $48 per month. And you see that they also have a free one. And every day you still have 150 fast generations per day. So each day you can still make 150 images, which is a lot. If you compare this with Midjourney, that you can only create 25 and after that nothing. You have apps like Lexica, where you can only create 100 each month. Leonardo AI does it way better and gives you 150 free AI generations every day. So this is really a site that you should try out because it's so much fun and it's free. If you really like it, you can pay $10 a month or even more. And then you immediately get 8,500 tokens per month. So this is really a lot, way more than Midjourney does. So that is the subscription and also what you get when you're using it free. But what can you expect using Leonardo AI? Well, you can expect to create amazing images. Take a look at this. They are looking very diverse and very professional and way better than other free tools. For instance, this one here, Galaxy Environment with a cat sitting in a glass bowl is just super cool. And how can you start creating your first images? So here on the top, you see Futured Models and all these models are trained to create a certain style. A model with incredible shading and contrast great at both photos and artistic styles. Here you have a model that's great for photorealism. Here you have a model that's great for vintage style photography. We can really choose what kind of style you want. Let's say I'm gonna go for Leonardo Diffusion. So you just click on that. And on the right, I press generate with this model. You can also see image created with this model. And you see that all these images were created with this model. So this one is super cool. And the nice thing is you can click on it and here on the right you see the prompt details that they used. So the prompt that they used to create this image. But let me just go back and I just press here generate with this model. And now we arrive in a generation tool. On the left you can select the number of images that you have. You can select the image dimensions. I use 1024, 1024. And I have Leonardo Diffusion selected here. And I can start my prompt. Gentleman with suit, walking through an office building, drinking a coffee. And you can select Leonardo style here for some extra magic Leonardo effect. And you can select prompt magic that maybe gives more accurate details, but it costs two times the token. So you have to decide if you want that. So for now I create one with none and I'm gonna create one with Leonardo style. So we can see the difference in result. And this is the first one. And they actually, oh, these arms are very long and the hands are very wonky, but we have a guy walking in the office carrying a coffee. And maybe it looks a bit better if I upscale it. So in the bottom, you have a couple of things that you can do. You can upscale image alternate, so you will get a bit different result. Creative upscale. You can remove background if you want, and you can unzoom. If you unzoom, it will get wider the image. So I'm gonna go for creative upscale and see how it looks after that. So this is the one that was using the Leonardo style selected. And these are maybe a bit better. Yeah, the fingers are always an issue, of course, also of mid journey. These are a bit buggy, but I'm sure we can get some better results with other prompts. This one is upscaled now, so let's see the difference. We had the original. And upscaled and upscaled has way more details and it has problems with the hand. So I'm maybe going to try a different prompt. 
So I have here a happy dog laying on couch protecting his bone in Leonardo style prompt magic and it's using the model Leonardo Diffusion. So you can choose another one. If I want to try another model, the Liberate 1.1, I can use that one and generate. And here we have the first one, the happy dog laying on couch protecting his bone. And it, yeah, I see that it's really having some issues with the paws. And I guess the paws are a bit the same as with hands from humans. That is just hard for the system. And this one is actually already way better. The eyes are a bit wonky, so I'm gonna upscale it to see if that looks better. And you see that you have to find the model that fits with what you want. So these ones I like more. The legs are still not perfect, but already a bit better. So this is quite a nice result. I like this one. So I'm gonna go back to what you can do here. I want to go through the models to see what kind of options we have. So you can go here to fine tune models on the left. And here you see all different models that we have. We can go for this one. So this is a great range of portrait styles as well as artistic backgrounds. But always when you click on it, you see the results and you see the images that people got. I think this one is quite impressive. You can just press here on remix. And when you do that, Leonardo copies all the details to you. So here the model is selected, the full prompt. I will get a result that is probably very similar to the one that I just saw. And here we got the results and they are looking pretty similar, right? So actually I really like this one. I'm gonna upscale it. But we are getting some nice results. I mean, these images look great and it's free every day, 150 tokens. So you can really create a lot. So I showed the fine-tuned models here already, but if you go to the right, you see that you also have community models. So these are models that people created themselves. And you see that this is all models that someone created themselves. So here someone created a model that's called Crypto Dreams with Crypto NFT art based on BAYC. So I can, you see here that these are all generated with this model and they're really similar. And you can also create your own model I created a full video on that. I will put it in the description or you can click somewhere here on the screen. And there I show step for step how you can create your own model and really make images how you want them and generate exactly in the style that you want. There's one more function that I really like in Leonardo AI that I just have to show. And that is the AI canvas. I'm gonna download this image because I think it's a really pretty image. And here on the left you have the AI canvas beta. So let me click on this. And I'm just going to pull in the image that I created and I zoom out and it's a bit too big. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So the prompt in the bottom, you add what was used to create the image. And here you have this little square and you'd make sure that it's half on the original image and half next to it. And then you can just press generate. And what it does is it's going to take this part and expand the image. So you're kind of making it bigger. And as you see here, He's getting, getting bigger and bigger now, and I can choose many different styles. This one is good. And I'm gonna go a bit more down and generate again. And like this, you can create a world that is fully open and it's endless. And look how cool. So I like, I like this one maybe with this thing in the front. And I'm gonna do one more. Generate. And just like this, the image got doubled in size and it just looks, this is just super cool. So I can use draw mask on the left. And if I don't like a certain part, for instance, I don't like this mountain right here, I want something else. I can select that. So don't like this part and generate. And I put the square on top and press generate. Now we got all different results. If I wanted it a bit different, maybe this one's good. And like this, you can really manually create your whole image. If you want to go a bit deeper and really see how you can optimize this tool, watch the video right here or the link is in the description. That was just an introduction on how you can use Leonardo AI and what you can expect. You can expect to create amazing images. So this is why you should use Leonardo AI because it's free. And if you really like it, you can pay, but you don't have to. And you have so many options in what you can do. And the nice thing is that each day you can try it out. If you want to learn more about Leonardo AI, for instance, how to create your own model, you can watch here or use the canvas, you can watch here. And otherwise, please subscribe because I will make a lot more AI art videos.